Carly, thanks. Mark Wahlberg's latest film, The Union, hits Netflix tomorrow. In today's chat with the stars, Fox Force Sean Edwards spoke with the actor on what it's like to work with Halle Berry and how his new movie freshens up the spy genre. <laughs> Did have an ulterior motive for bringing you here. You're trying to whisk me away with you, huh? Something like that. Now, before you did this project, had you worked with or did you know Halle Berry at all? I've known Halle since I was 18. Uh, we've been friendly for a long, long time. Talked about working together for many years. Never had the opportunity. But then you think, okay, who is the perfect person and most believable about a guy waiting 25 years to get one more shot and then was willing to do anything, risk his life in any kind of situation just to prove to her that, you know, and it's all, and the great thing for me, it's it's so simple, it's so obvious, like that's the motivation, right? A waiting at your mom's house, waiting, you know, you look at that door every once in a while, you're constantly reminded of that, nothing's ever gonna even compare. So, uh, you know, nobody better than Hallie. Two nights ago, a list containing the identities of every U.S. spy was stolen. And to get it back, we need someone who is not on that list. We need a nobody. And in this case, your character is thrown into an unexpected situation. So throughout your very long and illustrious career, what's the one and the biggest, most unexpected predicament that you've ever been thrown in as an actor? Oh, gosh, many, many. Um, but that's the exciting thing. I mean, taking a risk, doing something that's a little out of your comfort zone, stretching a little bit more. Um, like now we're doing a movie in and around soccer in the World Cup. I don't know about soccer, you know. And my character doesn't either, but it's it's fascinating to see like really how much it means to the to the rest of the world. It's like everything. So you enjoy that learning process, the research oh, aspect of it all. 100%. Yeah. I mean, look, I want to keep, you know, everything else that I'm doing is kind of repetitive routine like to for longevity and like eating right, exercise, being healthy, everything else, I want to do something different. I want to try something else. I want to, you know, um, grow and learn and, you know, take risk. Mike, get back in the car, Mike! I'm glad it's you and me. And I'm really glad I walked back into that bar. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Sean Edwards, Fox 4 News. All right, Carrie Stoll's here with Hollywood Headlines. Yeah, hey guys, so actress and Hollywood legend Gina Rowland is passing away. In June, her son revealed that she had been battling Alzheimer's for the past five years. He directed her in the movie The Notebook, which Rowland's played a woman with that same disease. During her nearly seven decade career, she had earned two Oscar nominations, four Emmys, and two Golden Globes. She died at her home in California, surrounded by family. Gina Rowlands was 94 years old. The story of former New England Patriot and murderer Aaron Hernandez, the subject of an upcoming installment of an American sports story on FX. The creators of The People vs. O.J. Simpson and the assassination of Gianni Versace tackle Hernandez's rise to Super Bowl champion and fall to convicted felon. Hernandez was convicted in the shooting death of fellow player Odin Lloyd and acquitted of two other murders. He was found hanged in his prison cell in 2017. The series premieres on September 17th. Mm. Wow, going to be a lot of interest in that. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I'm interested in learning more about that situation. Mm. Wow. Scrubs star Zach Braff says the Hollywood corporate turf is holding up a reboot of the popular hospital comedy that had aired from 2001 to 2010. Braff, who had played Dr. J.D. Dorian, told E.T. in an interview that Scrubs is owned by Disney mm. and the show's creator, Bill Lawrence, has a contract with Warner Brothers. Uh. He thinks so that the two companies will work.